Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a cool item storage using hoppers. So let me show you how this design works. Now, if I press this button here, what it's going to do is send out three diamond. And um, there's actually a little storage back there and I've just got these item frames just to indicate which button is what. And if we head over to this chest in the middle here, you'll see that we've got three diamonds. And every time you press a button, it will send out three items. So if I do this one, we're going to get three coal. One, two, three. Now, there is a little refilling system on this, so you can easily refill it. And um, you can put some item frames here, but I just happen to haven't done that. Um, so this one here is the diamonds. And then here we have the coal, and that is slowly going to go down. That was a trap chest, and that's why you didn't see it get drained there. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this, and yeah. So what you are going to need is 29 hoppers, 5 chests, 4 trapped chests, 8 item frames, 8 buttons, 8 redstone torches, and 60 floor block of your choice. Now you want to place the chest where all the output is going to go to, so when you click a button all the items are going to go into this chest. Then we want to go 5 this way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with your block of choice. 5 this way. And then we want to do another layer on top of these, so another 5. Now at the bottom of these blocks place all the buttons, except for the blocks next to the chest there. Above the buttons, put the item frames, and this is where your items are going to go. They can be anything, they don't have to be the ores, as I said at the start. Now behind uh, the buttons here on the blocks, you want to put the redstone torches. Pretty simple. So now we're going to place the hoppers, so you want to go to your output chest, and you want to shift right click and bring it out three, making sure the funnels are all going in the right direction. Then going backwards this way, um, you want to point the funnels to this last hopper here and you want to go out to get to the edge of the wall here and that was a little too far. We'll just break that so it's in line with that. Then you want to go this way and you want to do it to the edge of the wall again this side. Now next what you want to do is you want to go put your back against this wall here and you want to right click on each of these hoppers holding shift like that and then the funnels will go into these hoppers here which then that will travel to this output chest here. Now you want to do it to the other side as well, so shift right click so the funnels are going to the hoppers out there and then that connects up to this chest here and I accidentally put one there. Now just get rid of that. Now on the top of these hoppers here where they're going to these hoppers, you want to place them on top and this is for your chest storage so you can add more um, items to your storage. Now on top of these hoppers you want to put the chest and the trap chest. Now you want to alternate this so they don't connect. So like that, two there and then two on this side. Then in between the gaps just place the trap chest and they won't uh, make a double chest which is really cool. Now that is practically it. All you've got to do now is place in your items in the chest here and then place one in this item frame here just to uh, tell you what the item is when you press that button and then your items will come out here. I can, I'll can just do a quick example for you just because I felt like it. Now we'll put it in that chest there, we'll put the quartz, we'll just leave one out, put the quartz in there, press that button, we go to our chest here and we just have to wait for it because it's uh, pretty far away and you'll see we've got two uh, blocks there and what you'll have to do is actually wait for that to come down into the hopper there. Um, so if you just immediately put it in and press the button, um, it's not going to give you three, it's only going to give you two as I just did there. But if I press it again, wait for it, one, two, three, there we go. So if you found this tutorial useful, please remember to leave a like. Um, if you have any suggestions for tutorials for me to do, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, just a little sneak peek, I have a uh, tutorial that's probably going to be coming out soon and it's going to be equivalent exchange name mod. So if you know that mod where you have an item and you can get other items for it, uh, this is without mods and it's, it's going to be really useful if you have a vanilla server 
of some sort. So um, again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys later. Bye.